what is going on everyone welcome back fortnite just dropped their summer update and boy is it a big one we have a lot to talk about including a possible concert or even a festival let's get into it for starters the summer challenges are not currently active right now they'll be coming later on in the week but there is a new loading screen a couple new loading screens one of them's probably going to be the picture of when you like launch fortnite if I had to take a guess, I don't know. I haven't been on yet, but with these challenges, we should also be able to unlock a couple of customizations along with the no sweat umbrella. You know that I am a huge fan of the umbrella gliders and we finally got a no sweat umbrella, which is awesome. It's probably one of my favorite things that they've added in the summer update is a new glider we don't have enough as is not that our umbrellas really like i know that sounded like sarcasm but i'm serious we really don't have a lot of normal umbrella gliders additionally because it is summer you know we have to have a summer bundle the summer bundle is going to come with three skins and it is going to be a real money purchase i do believe um, it could be a V-Buck purchase, but I'm not 100%. As we've seen in the past, the technical name for him is Unstuff uh, Guff, which is pretty funny if you ask me. You can see him back there in the back. It's a skinny Guff, which is hilarious because Guff is hilarious already. We've got some Harley Quinn looking chick. And I say Harley Quinn because, you know, black and red. And then we have Raz. It looks like even with all the good vibes around, even the bad guys from chapter two are here to show us a visit. And Raz is in the spirit to just vibe out. Him going all silver. It'd be really cool to like run him and like Midas in, in a duo. You know, have one almost all silver and have one almost all gold. I don't know. I think it would look good. Additionally, on top of that bundle, we also have four new skins as well. Uh, one of them actually having a editable style as well. Now, I don't know the names of these skins right off the bat. You can see that we actually get a No Sweat Insurance member. Okay, I'm going to just take a guess that he's the CEO of No Sweat Insurance. I dig it, honestly. It's it's like the, the henchman skins, but as No Sweat be fun to run that in like a in no builds or something you know because no sweat so no builds i don't know but see that's not even all the cosmetics we are not done yet okay we also have a lot of new variants as you see we do have like this like slushy back bling in there as well which we should get with the challenges with the summer event except for the cuddle team leader one that you see on the second row right there that is actually going to be coming with the crew pack for august um so if you're a member you will receive that editable style uh come next month along with a couple of those uh pickaxe swords as well uh, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a second what i really want to talk about is ragsby got a edible style with the mask off and if you don't know who that is that is the post-apocalyptic cuddle team leader that came out a while ago back when they had this like in-game aim slash build edit training course i really enjoyed it and i really hope they bring it back epic if you're listening come on another one that you might have seen there is the new galaxy skin it also has a variant which you will not be able to unlock if you win the skin from the tournament you can only unlock this variant if you purchase the galaxy skin from the shop when it comes to the shop so i'm sorry for all those who won the tournament or placed really highly in the tournament and unlocked that skin for free you will not be able to get this variant unless you buy it from the shop we also had a change to complex i don't know exactly what got changed about it besides it now glows at nighttime which is probably awful because you don't really want to be seen that well but you know she fits in with the vibe part of the season so i can see why they changed it but if you don't like the change you can always refund it without using one of your refund tokens um for the next couple of days before august 17th i'm personally going to keep it we have a first look at the pickaxe 
for the crew pack skin for next month. There are different like upgradable customizations for it. So I don't know how that's really going to work. I'm sure we're going to have some challenges we have to do to upgrade into the other variants or maybe it'll upgrade like if we stay a subscriber month to month i'm not quite sure but what i do know is that august crew pack will be a male crew pack skin congratulations to all those that were complaining that every crew pack skin was female here's a male one uh we don't know what it looks like but the code name in the files is desert shadow so it could be really cool but most of the guy skins are just too big they're just too big so i never use them and last but not least for the cosmetics okay we we still have a lot of other stuff to go into trust me this is just the cosmetics we have a couple new emotes they're probably going to be muted because i don't know if they're going to be copyrighted or not but uh Y'all can probably pick it out in the video, you know. Uh, it's probably going to be a very toxic, sweaty emotes. And I'm already tired of it. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't even been able to use it yet or, you know, have it used on me. And I'm already sick of it. Anyway, those are all the emotes. I'm probably still going to pick up the sweaty one, not going to lie. But let's move on to the new weapons and items that we got in this update, right? So, for starters, we got a new shotgun. I don't know why. We already have three. Don't think it's in competitive right now. It's called the Prime Shotgun, and I've got the stats up for it as well. I also have some gameplay that I'm going to play, so I'll be back in just a second. Now, if you ask me, this shotgun reminds me personally of the heavy shotgun back in the chapter one days. The prime shotgun does more damage when it has more ammo in the clip. The fuller the clip is, the more damage that you're able to hit, which the mythic does 195 damage to the head with a full clip. It's not very often that you have a full clip inside your shotgun seeing how it's like normally the gun that most people fight with i'll just have to play around with it and see what i like and what i don't like about it uh let me know if y'all have had time to you know get in game test this gun out let me know what y'all think down below we also got a couple of ice cream cones added to the game as consumables you know it's summertime everyone's vibing out we gotta have ice cream right i mean it just goes with summer and with these ice creams we have the normal ice cream cone we have the freeze guzzle chug and spicy ice cream cone now i i'm gonna just let y'all decide on uh you know what these mean i'm sure y'all can guess the freeze one's obviously going to give you you know ice feet the guzzle is going to give you white HP. Chug's going to give you, you know, white or blue HP. And then the spicy one's going to, you know, give you a little speed boost, which is going to be interesting. I want to try that out along with the sprint mechanic and see how fast I can actually move. Now, with all these cosmetics coming to the game, right? They've also added in a new mechanic, I guess along with the locker stuff right so we have locker archiving now which is awesome because i don't know about you guys but i have a lot of skins that i've bought because either they were like limited time skins or they were just really cool looking but i'll never use them and now they're just sitting in my locker being unused getting in the way cluttering up everything but now with this mechanic we can now archive our skins, get them out of like the locker, the primary locker, right? Or get them out of the way of the skins that we're actually going to use and make it a lot easier to like cycle through our, our skins 
that we use on a on a regular basis right we also get to vote on tilted finally right i feel like it's been forever since we we got the mention of the the block 2.0 and you know tilted being rebuilt by the player base right let me explain this picture real quick so the top row is going to be plot a and then the middle is going to be plot b and then the last one is going to be plot c and we're going to be able to vote on all three of these to replace the buildings that got destroyed at tilted now i'm gonna to have to really look at these and see if i can like get a deeper dive into them before i make my decision on them because this is going to change tilted probably forever moving on we also have a couple of wild weeks that i want to talk about or at least one wild week that i want to talk about i don't know it's gonna if it's going to take effect this week or next week but it's called flying objects weekend and you took the guess right you you guessed it we're getting ufos and impulses back at least for a week so i can go ahead and tell y'all now I probably will not be playing much pubs during that week because I just really don't like the UFOs. I mean, they weren't strong or anything. I could take them down, but they were just annoying to have to deal with. And along with those returns, we also should see the return of boogie bombs and crash pads in the near future as well, because they are used in the summer and week eight and week nine quest. So they should be returning at some point soon in the future. All of you guys who stayed here through all these changes, y'all are the real ones. And now we're going to get into the real spicy stuff. Okay. In the files, we also got a concert stage update. Okay. I'm showing you some pictures now and you know, there, there's some meshes for a stage being built for the summer event. Right. And before I get too deep into that, I just want to mention there's also this upside down reality bloom that's in the files. Why this reality bloom is so important, right? Because I know it's random having it right here with the concert stuff, right? But there's a theory going around with this upside down rea reality bloom, right? Because Marshmallow today, as of recording this video, tweeted out, I miss Pleasant Park. I know he's just an artist and I know back in chapter one he did play at pleasant park and maybe you know maybe he just misses it maybe he was just making a tweet or whatever but i doubt that i doubt it right so the theory behind this upside down reality bloom is that this reality bloom is going to spawn somewhere and it's going to return a poi from the flip side okay that's why it's upside down right because it's coming from the flip side and it's going to bring back pleasant park for a marshmallow concert however this concert goes a little bit deeper and that's why i think that we are going to be having a festival right festival because one this is this is way too like coincidental right the whole marshmallow thing with this added but also before this update fortnite status tweeted out you know about the the update coming and the first thing they said was it's prime time and i know most of y'all might not think too much about that right but for a while now probably over a year juice world's manager has been in contact with epic games working on something behind the scenes about a month ago he even came out and like verified that yes he and epic are still working together to get something done and would you guess it juice world has a song called prime time it could be a stretch but i mean epic games fortnite has had concerts in the past they've all been absolutely mind-blowing right I mean, we've already had four or five concerts, you know, as live events. What would be even crazier than that? Them having multiple concerts in one live event. And they normally do stuff like this during the summertime. So I could 100% see this happening. Also, don't forget that Donald Mustard has, has 
teased having you know Billy Ellish as a a performer inside of fi Fortnite. So that's three, right? Three artists that we could possibly see. Two of them, I'm I'm like ninety percent sure we're going to see. Billy Ellish, we might not, but you know, Donald Mustard has teased about that before, so we could possibly see her as well. I mean, actually, there's there's been quite a few that's been teased. Lady, Lady Gaga being one of them as well. I mean, th this could just be an absolute like blowout of a festival, right? Happening in game, summer vibes are high. Why not host a festival? It just makes sense. It just makes sense. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. That's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell for notifications so that we don't miss an upload. Because we actually have more stuff to talk about this update. But I have to put it in a whole other video. So, bye.